Mark Hamill's playing a good guy? Allow me to put on my skepticals. <laughs> well done. That's really like, before we start, he's like, let me do the opening. Like, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Boom. Maybe you do need the sweater back. <laughs> why are you so mean to me? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because the improper use of machinery could lead to utter catastrophe, as the code says. That's not really much of one, is it? <laughs> Until we find out, like, 12 episodes later, it's like, oh my god, that's what it meant. Uh, this is Into the Bunker. Uh, Redemption for Wendy. Yeah, I was gonna say, sort of the rest in peace Wendy romance, which... Thank God. It, yeah, it's pretty welcoming, and but... It, and it, it worked. It actually was a really good episode. Yeah. So, um, and we're done. We don't need to go back. My favorite was when she's like, hey, I wrestled myself. That was awkward. And I'm like, well, that'll get rule 34. <laughs> it already <laughs> is. Probably. I'm sure there's, like, pictures of, like, her and Oh, Dipper no, my, my absolute like favorite is when Dipper comes up and the two of them are wrestling, and I almost want him to say, wow, this is hot. <laughs> Not as creepy as your internet search history, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Dipper. He should, he should have said something like, this is usually where I wake up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, was just, I was just watching that unfold, and I'm like, oh... Oh, somebody's fan fixed the crap out of this. <laughs> so, so before this is into the bunker, they go to that tree uh, with the stairs around it, um, and uh, they find what they think is the author, but it turns out it's just Mark Hamill. Uh, <laughs> Trade <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it turns out, that I love that the form he took, the shape he took the form of was actually just off of the beans. Uh, and now we know who that six-finger glove belongs to because he mentioned it. Well, yeah, we know it's the author. Yeah. The way we do it, but we still don't know who the author is. We don't know who he is, but we know that that glove, because we were looking at that earlier, where it's like well, the six-finger uh, glove, and we're like, what's up with that? And it's the author, so. Well, not the hand on the journal obviously has six fingers, too. Um, so all that stuff. Oh, it does? A, I never noticed that. You fucking lie. <laughs> no, actually, I really never did. You, it's impossible I, not to notice that. I, I was looking at the numbers. <laughs> I, I told you I'm not in it for the mystery, I'm in it for the jokes! But you can count! Look, it's very simple. Four stones, four crates, zero stones, zero crates! Extra points whoever gets that. It's the fifth element. Yeah, you can count there! Five elements, five... Okay. Um... What was I gonna say? Okay, so yeah, you have this episode where... You know what, Doug? Um, Don't hate me because I'm having fun, okay? <laughs> Or I'll bring up the fact that you hate Waddles again. They're I already, don't hate they're Waddles. already ripping you a new one. I for don't that. hate Waddles. I got no bullshit with Monsters University. <laughs> I saw 80s movies too. And that's why I liked it. I'll tell you what. Let's we'll, we'll end this now. Since since Ow. everybody, I stepped on your foot on purpose. Since <laughs> why aren't you wearing shoes? Because it's my house. <laughs> are you a fucking hobbit? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. We're gonna put this to rest because everyone's going nuts because Doug apparently hates Waddles and do not hate Waddles. He does. He doesn't hate Waddles, he's just very indifferent to Waddles and thinks he's overrated, but... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll, okay, well you admit it, so you can make him, you can kiss Waddles Appa, or as I like to call him, Wappa. Kiss and make up. <laughs> Fanfic that! <laughs> okay, okay, enough. Wow! Enough. <laughs> It's just getting good. Only I get to waddle with waddles. Wait, not after. <laughs> oh. Waddles will waddle with right. Wappa. That'll I'm be a fan fiction waddle with Wappa. I'm gonna throw you in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> or burn him. Yikes! <laughs> you know, that's from a fan. I'm just wondering, like, that person's watching if they're just like, you know, oh my god, I never thought like Oh, come on, no, it's, it's a fan. They're going, oh my god, the gift I got dunk, he rubbed against his junk. <laughs> I wish I could have it back. <laughs> <laughs> so wow we got off track yeah anywho um oh so, so sweater watch or as i'm officially calling it swatch uh today's episode was brought to you by the sweater light bulb <laughs> click yes and it lights up and it was amazing um yeah it was so uh so and we kind of explained everything you know uh dipper and wendy Break up, you know, if it, not really going to be together. together. <laughs> yeah, but um, <laughs> oh, and that line about like, really, I could hear all the things you're whispering. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was think like, I couldn't hear that. That, but his reaction was exactly mine. Just, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I, I like the fact they play it. She's not quite like 
that dumb because like anyone should have picked up on this and and stuff um but in my opinion this has the most badass wendy scene it, it's one of my favorite scenes it's when they're they're fighting each other it says give me a sign and one smiles and winks and the other does the lip thing uh and i i love that scene because she looks so determined and for a second you really think the other one might be wendy you know, because she did just sort of change and do the wink, but then, like, when you see, like, just the badass, I'm like, that was pretty cool. Like, that's one of those scenes where, like, I remember somebody at a con was saying, like, you know, don't be too hard on Wendy. I'm like, oh, I'm not hard on Wendy. I say, actually, there's a really, I said one of, her, one of my favorite scenes is in this upcoming episode, and they went, oh, you mean, like, they knew what it they was, because it's such a badass scene. They just needed time for the character to develop. And also to figure out what they wanted to do with that whole romance. Yeah, I'm glad they wrapped it up. And it's one of those things where it's no, like, if this you can't episode, do something more honestly, with it, just I didn't it realize she was the lumberjack's daughter. No, near did I. I, I had I no said, clue. I, I now the her first time we whole it. character makes sense. I'm like, huh. I mean, what? we did see like the family before, but we never saw like the dad and now that i think about it, it's like yeah i wonder if like when well, we was, did see the dad i was always wondering why she was dressed like a humber a uh, humberjack humber hum wow like humperdink <laughs> <laughs> okay it's not like i've been looking up wendy online or anything uh no it, it i was always wondering why she was dressed up like a lumberjack i'm keeping um, wapo away from you <laughs> this is for me you're the one abusing wampa you're the one looking up dipper goes to taco bell and twin cest i didn't I didn't look any of that shit up. Bullshit. They came to me. Uh huh. No, I have people on my Facebook were just like, okay, okay. Oh my Get god, it's twin cess. I. Oh, I was always wondering why she was dressed up like a lumberjack. The girls are dressed like, but what's well, I guess lumberjack ish? They usually have red. Well, I thought it was like some sort of Portlandia thing. Or no, no, that's not that, my thought. Yeah, I mean, but it now, just... it, but it makes more sense this way. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying trying to think of um. A lot of stuff about the the mystery here. The uh, hold on. I love that the the people that make the bad movies are called Good Enough Pictures. Um, I loved that list of movies. The man with no taste. The attack of the explanation. That's points. you, dude. Not funny. Too soon. I'm still getting over my lack of taste. All right. You're just actively campaigning for the death of joy, aren't you? You don't like waddles. You're sitting here making fun of me because I'm actually having a good time with this show. What? You're not making fun of me? Yeah, ah, because ah. you're actively campaigning for the death of joy. I'm not campaigning for the death of joy, but who might be is whoever was preparing for the end down below, which I guess we know is the author. It has to be the author. Um, at one point he says, you know, I, I would think. I no, at, at one point he says, you know, oh, I get so sick and tired. Of, it's the first time in a long time I've seen someone that's not mole people. So it's like, we could see mole people. Uh, he does change into something else when he's upside down at the end. Well, that, looks okay, like so if it's the author down there, did he imprison the shapeshifter? Was yeah, he... that, that's what he said. He imprisoned the shapeshifter. He put a danger. Oh no, danger experiment. Like I think he created him. So why is he experimenting? Uh, we don't know. To fight off whatever the end is nigh. Yeah, we know it's going to be like yeah. years and years. Was it like 60 years, something like that? They I did say the, the one joke that I thought maybe for a second they were going to go there because his office, like down there, his control room looks similar to the one Grunkle Stan has. I thought for a second it was going to be this long back doorway into Grunkle Stan's secret that, room. That would have been funny. Like that uh, Grunkle Stan wasn't aware of. Like maybe uh, somebody else built it. I but. have a theory. I'm sure I'm not the first one to think this. I have a theory that somehow the author is Stan. Um, because he did have the glove with the six fingers. I mean, he does know how to operate all that stuff. I don't know what had happened to the six could fingers. Be. But at the same well, time... Could have but, but the guy also said, I've waited 30 years. It's been 30 years since I've seen anyone. So that would also explain, again, the 30 years with Stan. So, so would uh, that be Stan's trying to figure out the mysteries himself, and that's why he's writing the books? Maybe, or just he was trying to do... But why did he lose... But then why did he lose the third one, and then was just like, oh my god, it's back, and try to reactivate all the... I don't know. I mean, it's something must have happened. He got in a fight with whatever he was hmm. against. I mean, it's, I don't know. That That's my theory for now. The, hmm. the briefcase, which we see a lot of uh, in the future here, it says property of F. Uh, at the top of my head, I can't think of any characters. Frunkle Stan. Frunkle Stan, yes. <laughs> Got it. Um, the only other one I can think of that I guess, I don't think it's giving away too much yet, but the, uh, uh, what's it, uh, McGucket would be my only other guess, but it's hmm. like, I think that'd be too obvious, uh, because they make him an inventor and so on and so forth. Um, so I don't know, That that's the only guess I have now. 
uh, about who the author is, but I don't know why, it, what would end with the six. Bringing up Grunkle Stan's office, I forgot to mention this last episode. You know what I found the most cutest thing of all? The picture. Yeah, is that in his super secret, dark, scientific -y, like, office where, you know, he's got the Stargate, all of this stuff, and he's got the little picture of Mabel and Dipper there. Yeah, I'm I like, really That's just it. so cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like, um, it really shows how much they've rubbed off on me. I love that, the last episode of the last season where, um, where they're driving off. It's like, you really see the impact the kids have had on him, uh, which I really like. And again, Mabel and Seuss, the unsung heroes. Like, we wouldn't have had this wrap-up with this romance that was going nowhere if it weren't for Mabel. Yeah, Seuss, I'm sure, played the she part. Shoved, she shoved Dipper in the closet, which is its own fanfic, I'm sure. But, um... <laughs> Dipper in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Dipper in the closet goes to Taco Bell. Um... Dipper in the Taco Bell closet. <laughs> so, and then at the very end, again, the teamwork. Because, like, Wendy and Dipper were fighting it off, but then uh, Seuss and Mabel froze the monster. Yeah. Which, by the way, my favorite scene, just like, remember that the last thing you'll, see, your last words or thing you'll see will be this. And he, like, freezes, like, Aah! and then Seuss is like, ha, have fun trying to get to sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great scene, by the that way. It, it's really that was cryptic, dark. and I this love the whole way it... episode was really dark for this show. Yeah, and I love how he it's like hacks he... a version of Wendy with an axe. He's yeah. got that final scene with Dipper freezing, and the the shape shifting monster like was legitimately for a kid show like scary. I'm like, if I were a kid, especially this would be... when he's the inventor yeah. turning into. If I were a kid, this would be one of those shows I would watch like to get scared, like one of those shows, like yeah, I have to brave myself up to like, yeah. This would be like our return to Oz or something like that. Like yeah, the show. so. Like this would be the show, like you can't watch it to get scared. I'm a grown adult and I was like, man, this messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, good episode and uh, we'll just see you in the next one. Why you gotta hate me? Why you gotta hate me? Ow.